I love rhythm games, even when I'm not good at them. There's just something so intense and satisfying of playing along with your favorite songs. There's so many different types of rhythm games, some easily accessible, and others that are just... Easily, my favorite rhythm game is Rhythm Heaven. And I think other rhythm games have a lot to learn from it. But before we get to that, let's go over what Rhythm Heaven is. This Nintendo game is by the same makers of WarioWare, and definitely carries over its odd humor and quirky ideas. The game revolves around small musical vignettes. Some have a small story involved, like this one of a boy protecting two dating weasels on his own date. Others are more abstract, like stabbing peas someone's flicking at you, or donk donk. Most rhythm games build off one set of rules, but Rhythm Heaven changes them quite frequently. That's why each minigame starts with a small tutorial, and once you start the game, there's no more guides. Notice how there's no display markers on screen like other games in the genre. Instead, the player has to rely on the song and the visual cues of the scene. Look a listen. It's a simple game. Just tap A on the beat. When the bomb taps come, switch to the off beat. Rhythm Heaven is really playful with its songs. Not only are they catchy, but they're kind of a funny play on music concepts. Like how the game Kitties is the bucket of fish drum fill. You do everything to the beat in this game. It even forces you to stop relying on the visuals at times, with various distractions and tricks. Even without something to look at, the music guides you. If you're failing, the game wants you to learn from it, not flunk you out of the game. Although, there's still a pass-fail. You really get the sense that you're learning the language of the game, like notes on a music sheet. And the culmination of this melody are the remixes. Once you complete a set of games, they're compiled together in one song. Oftentimes with different themes. You start to see your favorite mini games as verses in the song. Or that one you were having trouble with is now the main chorus. If you don't have the knowledge of all these games, you're going to have a real tough time completing these. And that leads me into one of the biggest differences between Rhythm Heaven and other games in the genre. In many rhythm games, you could just hop into the song. Sure, it might be difficult or fast, but the rules are the same between each tune. But what Rhythm Heaven is asking of the player is to get intimate with each one of these mini-games, because you may not be good at them, but learning them is essential. So, is Rhythm Heaven the best music game ever made? Probably not. But it does have a commercial with Beyonce. <laughs> Ah, uh, so, ah. Uh.